When I heard that I'd been nominated for this award, I had to read the email several times. I hadn't known anything about it. And then I was actually quite overwhelmed that anyone had thought that I deserved an award. I, I love doing what I do. I'm very passionate about um, moving forward literacy and spreading that passion to other people. Eileen definitely deserves this award. She has done a tremendous amount of work with the children and the parents at Fourth Youth School. First of all, she's created a library that didn't exist previously. There were shelves with some books, but children weren't accessing it as a library because it was a behaviour support unit. In the school, there didn't used to be a library because normally we used to have um, a library in each class, but like a, like a wee bookshelf. But like now we have a big library, so there's a bigger selection. You can get more books. She came in and realised that a lot of the books were, if not obsolete, then tatty and weren't being used. And if we didn't see books as objects of desire, then how could reading be encouraged? I believe that Eileen's passion for literature has become infectious throughout our school, from the nursery right through to primary seven. Before Miss Lottwood came, I wasn't really a big reader. And I started reading before she came. And when she came, she just like boosted me up on reading like way more. At first, like I thought because like I was dyslexic that I couldn't read and then like, when I was reading with Miss Littlewood, then she like changed it all. And like, when you're like stuck on a word, she doesn't freak out. She just like helps you. I believe that everyone should be reading and should be aiming to read more and better than they have been. So our least able readers, it's very important that we get them to break through to literacy, to be able to read and to enjoy books. But it's equally important for me that the most able readers don't sit back and think, oh yes, well, you know, I've read quite a few books now and I'm happy with that. I want to challenge them and I want them to challenge themselves. We have four chapters to read. And like sometimes it's like quite a lot for me, but like when I get into it, I can't stop reading it. Even if like my mom calls me to do something, I, I just can't stop. The books, it's like we all enjoy it and Miss Littlewood finds something that we all enjoy. She encourage everybody in the school, not just the book group, to read more because it helps you with your writing, your words, like, and basically life. Not only did Eileen consult with our children to ask them what they would want from a library, she also consulted with the parents to ask them if this is something they would be interested in. We've got two sections, we've got the kids' books and there's also an adult section for us to go and pick a book to take home. Parents are the most important role models that a child will have. So I want the parents to be the positive role models that they can be and that their children deserve to have. And reading, for me, is the best and richest role model you can present to your children. We have um, like an adult book cafe, which when she first came up with the idea, I thought there was no way that this is going to work. It's going to be really hard. And it was hard, but we kept plugging away and we ended up with quite a few women and we ended up with a separate men's group as well. I didn't read that much. Read papers and stuff like that, but didn't read like books or anything like that. When Mrs Littlewood brought in books back that her husband was reading and donated, I started reading a couple of them. And that's what got me started off. And it was just like, I want to read more now. I suffer with really bad anxiety and having that time sitting reading, it completely shuts your mind off to a completely different level. It takes your mind elsewhere. If it gets you stuck into the book, you're not stuck in your own head. We thought about writing our own book to help different kids of different ages with anxieties, because as adults, we've got a lot of anxieties, so how must kids feel? The fact that everybody was like, how on earth are we going to be putting this book together? And then like the wow moment of that we've actually put it all together. To see them afterwards and how lifted they were by it, how buoyed up they were, and how they are now talking about what they're going to do next. Are they going to write another book? What is the next project? It's, it's a wonderful thing to see. The opportunity she gave us from going to a book group, it was just incredible. From a non-reader to now reading books, to write my own book and encouraging my child to read um, a lot more now is it's so inspiring. She's a, a credit to this school. Through reading, parents and children can really 
empathize, they can learn to empathize, they can believe that they too can move forwards, they can change things, they can go places, they can dream, they can have big dreams. That's why I think that reading is absolutely the best thing.